So this is it. Based on the calculations, this is it. I think yes. we should be able to do it. Based on today's performance, I think we played pretty well overall. But this is it. Dramatic finish. It comes down to the wire. Can we break 90? Let's find out. Sit now, sit. All go in. Welcome back everybody to another Break 90 series. Today we've got to thank the pro down here. He managed to sort me out of tea time here at Benton Hole Golf Course in Essex. Beautiful golf course. We're going to break 90 today. Last time we were here, if you've watched that previous vlog, it was through a horrific storm. It was like crazy winds and we, uh, we struggled that day. So hopefully today we're going to break 90. Let's get into it. So here we are, Benton Hall brings back good memories and bad memories. Beautiful golf course, beautiful golf course, but we picked a day for it. Again, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is on our Break 90 series. It was one of the first ones we did, and my God, we gave ourselves hard work. So go check that out. First hole, it's fairly straightforward, pretty much straight, but you've got out of bounds all to the right hand side. 500 yards, par five to start with. First swing of the day, <laughs> let's have a go. Come on, Break 90, let's do it. It's okay, it's a bit draggy, sit down. Okay, not bad first strike, a bit stiff to start with, but I tell you what, take that, not our bounce to the right. So, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new around here, you'll get used to the fact that I do jibber on a bit. Everyone that's been around here a while know exactly what I'm like. I get all excited on the first tee, I get excited all the way around, because I love this game, which is why it makes it so easy for me to film these vlogs for you. So if you are new around here, make sure you do all the like subscribe. I always forget to ask, which is why I'm gonna do it now while I remember. But also another thing, if we could try and build up my Instagram uh, account as well. So you might be subscribed on here, but you might not necessarily be following on Instagram. Make sure you are, because there's always extra little bit of fun content on there as well. Also keeps you up to date with everything that is going on. But yeah, if you're new around here, do the like subscribe stuff because it's just relatable, enjoyable golf. And I gibber on. <laughs> we found it amongst the conker shells. I forgot what they're called, the conker shells. Mud ball. So what you, I don't know if you can make it out from here, but play it straight back down there. Winds into face. We've got 300 yards left. Okay, let's just play, play, one, just play one down there, right? First point of call on a first hole is just to get going. So seven iron, come on. Yep. Again, if you're, if you're not new around here, you know exactly <laughs> the kind of golf I play on a few first few holes. <laughs> Let's try and change that trend. Tra Let's try and change that trend. <laughs> you might have seen in a recent video, I uh, massively talked up this club. So <laughs> let's do it now. So I believe near Greenside is a bunker. I'm not gonna reach, I've got 257 yards. It was a top out of the out of the trees just a second ago. So we're just laying up again, but let's lay up closer. Good strike. Did it turn or has it stayed straight? I didn't see it down. Great strike. Didn't see it down though, a bit worried. We're gonna have to go look for that one. I'll tell you something folks, I am getting very lucky. I've obviously clattered one of these trees and it's just bounced here. I, I'm getting lucky. Seriously, two occasions now, I thought I could have lost the ball, but <laughs> 100 yards left in. 100 yards left in, just a good, just a good comfortable feely gap wedge. Stick it close, walk away with a par. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Could start. Beautiful strike, right down it, if it's long enough. Oh, oh, oh my God, check that out, check that out, check that out. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my goodness, oh. <laughs> now, we know it looks close, but it's still really like 20 foot away. Oh, I'll tell you what, I told you, I've told you before, that's the one thing I can say with confidence. My wedge game, my wedge game is so good. So like always, as you say, <laughs> it's not as close as you think. It looked close. It looked very close. 
but it's still a good eight foot, I'd say, six, seven. Yes, what a start. We'll take that one, come on. <laughs> a great start. Come on, that's what I mean today. It's gonna to be a good one with all you lovely people. Let's go. Tell you what, what a start that was. To start off with a par, one putt par as well, brilliant. Right, next hole to par three, 165 yards, bunker to the left, water over to the right hand side as well. Come on, let's just play smart today. Smart, you say that every time, don't you? We always say play smart, you never do. Right, six iron in hand, 165 yards. Normally a seven iron would be good enough, but it's early doors, isn't it? Early doors. Oh, you thin it. I tell you what, <laughs> Thin didn't work out too badly. It was a thin, it was terrible, which is kind of what I expected, but for a thin, <laughs> we're just off the green. <laughs> As we know from previous, these greens are very, very good here. Benton Hall, kudos to you, the greens are brilliant around here. Right, I'm thinking a little bump up, a little bump and run, run it up there. Like that, slow down. Whee! Oh, he's rolled out, see what I mean? These greens are fast, which is great. I'm not complaining in that regard. Bloody brilliant here, Benton Hall, but quick. <laughs> oh. There we go. Not what we wanted, but if you don't hit the green and reg, what do you expect? Bogey, that's all right. This next hole, it's a, a severe dog leg left. It's pretty much a right angle. You probably, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's the black and white stake at the top there. And then at dog legs left, it's not a driver hole at all. You can't drive this hole. It's a three wood or a five wood. Nah, absolutely cocked that one right up. <laughs> that was a cocky one. Not as in showing off cocky, just cocky rubbish crap. <laughs> For the first time this year, I'm getting hot and sweaty. My hoodie might actually have to come off, crazy. Right, so what you can't see, 194 yards left to go, blind shot really. Do I hit another three wood, five wood or do I just lay up? Let's try and lay up seven, seven iron. Long way to go, but it's all, all over the place, isn't it, this lie? Above my feet. It's gonna turn, just try and get a nice strike on it, really. Yeah, that was all right. Okay, <laughs> running around. It's, it's a good layup shot, to be honest. It was maybe slightly righter than I was hoping for, but it's okay. Yep, I mean, had it been online, it might have been all right. 46 yards left to go, just a little, just a little floaty sandwich, a little floaty 56. Hopefully get it there. Not too much on it. Just, just a little floaty one, come on. Go, go. Oh, it's pin eye. Pin eye just right a bit. We'll take that one, we? Take that one. Pin eye, just slightly right. Slightly uphill, slightly right to left. Come on. Makeable. Makeable. Now turn. Too fast. Hit it too hard. Oh, Christ. Faster than you think. Yes. There we go. In for the bogey. Right. We'll take that because, again, it just settles the ship down. Move on to the next hole. Come on. Same again on this next hole. We're going to trust the five wood because it doesn't often let us down. That was just my fault, wasn't it, really? So this next hole, par four, slopes. The whole fairway slopes from right to left. A bit horrific, really. It's hard to play. Um, no point driving it because if, you're, if you go out to right, you're dead. Too far left, it's dead. So, yeah, five wood into play. That's the aim. No, what are you doing? Why have you done that again? Topped it again. Whether it's psychological, being on a tee, I feel like it's higher. Because I don't often tee it up. Oh, that's terrible. 
we've still got 200 yards to go. When it's like this, don't feel confident going for it. So I'm just gonna try and place an iron up there. That's what I'm trying to do. It's well above my feet. I don't even know how this is gonna act, react. This is gonna be horrific, isn't it? Just try and get contact on it. It's hard. Bit toey, but it's hard from that lie. Yeah, okay, take it. Again, I wasn't really gonna risk anything else because it's so, it was so above my feet, I really didn't know how that was gonna react. So I'm glad that I actually got some contact on it. But I've got 89 yards left. It's uphill, so I'm clubbing up to a pitch. Being uphill, it increases the loft, doesn't it? So, come on. It's good. Don't be long. It's, it looked okay, whether it's long, I don't think it's long, but it did look good. Come on. Travel, get down the hill. Oh, so you're worried about the hill and then that happens. Oh no. If lab putters want to sponsor us and get me a putter fitted, I'd be very grateful. Love the look of them and I reckon it would help me a lot. Woo, we got away, another clutch up. You might be thinking you don't need another putter. Trust me, this doesn't happen with the putter normally, as you know. Lab putters, lab putters, give us a shout. It's a scorable hole. I need to take this jumper off, I'm getting way too hot. But between the two trees is the line. That big building in the background, that's your line, essentially. It's par four, 369 yards. Potentially get a good drive down there. I just don't know what's either side, I can't remember what's either side of those trees, whether it's trouble or not. But let's go for it, right? Stay slightly cutty, but it's not bad. Okay, it's slightly cutty, but as I say, it's, it's not a bad one, it's not a slice. Just a slight fade off that, that right tree. Hopefully the trace will show you, but come on, come on! 144 yards to go, so it wasn't a bad drive at all. Quite happy with that, considering it was a bit cutty. 144 yards, it's slightly down here. I'm gonna go nine iron. Oh, it's a bit toey, go! Oh! <laughs> what a good shot. Right, so it was toey, it hit the bank there and it's bounced on, it's pin eye. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> to be honest with you, that couldn't have gone much better even if I hit onto the green. <laughs> but he's hit this bank here and it's kicked in over here, which is absolutely brilliant. Wow. Right. Still a putt. Still a putt. Now, can you tell me? I don't know. I'm going to do it now anyway. So, but am I able to clean it? It's still fairway, isn't it? Even though it's close to the green and it's not the green, but it's still fairway winter rules at the moment. So I'm saying that I can clean it. That's what I'm saying, but let me know if you think, well, <laughs> let, me, let me know if I've just done something illegal. <laughs> never gave it a chance, did I? That's terrible, Lewis. That is, that is absolutely diabolical to never give a birdie a chance. Got the par, but that's not the point, is it? <laughs> we should be attacking that for a birdie. That's disappointing. I, I apologise, because that is absolute travesty to do that. <laughs> par three. Two bunkers are green side in front of the green, as you can see. It's only 122 yards to the middle, 109 to the front. Uh, it's slightly uphill as well. I'm going to go pitching wedge. Oh, you thin it. How have you thinned it again? How have you thinned that? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Never mind, let's not dwell on it. <laughs> thinned it. I said I'm not gonna dwell on it, so I'm not, but that was an opportunity to get on the green. Do you, let me know, let me know. Do you think that shorter path threes are actually harder? 
Is it psychological that you think that you're going to hit it too long? I don't know. I don't know because there was, for, for a split second, there was going through my head that will I overshoot it, being it too short. Let me know whether you've ever thought like that or whether I'm just making it up, making up absolute twallop. <laughs> I don't often play this club, 60 degree, but my theory behind it is it's not going to go too long if I just put a confidence swing on it. Whereas if I put a 56 confidence swing, I've gone to the back. I just want to flop it over and let it release out. That's all I want to do. Like that, sit. Oh! <laughs> that nearly slam dunked in. Yeah, come on. Up and down for the par. It landed round here. I mean, it is, it is tra a travesty that we are pat putting for a par, isn't it? But I suppose as a 17 handicapper, that's where my level is, right? Which I like to think I'm better than a 17 handicap. Without any disrespect, I think at times I play better golf than a 17 handicap. But hey, that's what the world handicap system gives me. That's what they give me. Right, slightly downhill. It doesn't like, look like it's moving, but it is downhill. I'm a bit concerned there's a little bit of a dodgy patch right in front of my ball, but come on. Little pendulum swing. Oh, lipped. And I tap that as well. That's how quick it is. Even if it's been absolutely sodding this morning with wetness. Bogey. That's a shame, isn't it? Never mind. As I said before, on the other par three, you can't be expected to make pars and birdies if you don't hit green and rig. So, never mind, bogey. Hole seven, par four, straight down, really. You've got a bunker that I don't think is reachable. I don't think it is. It's about 240 yards away. Oh, it's a low burner, but it's going to be perfect. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> low, burner, low burner for the win. Let's go. 134 yards left to go. Little worm killer was beautiful. Worked out really nicely. Got to come straight over a bunker. There's a bunker right in front of the pin. Got a nine iron in hand. Not a nice stance where I'm standing. It's, that's awkward. That is awkward. Right, good shot on this, come on. Oh, he's absolutely pole drive that to the right. Yeah, that was awful. I did say because of my stance, it was awful. Ah! Ah! Good for distance. Just pulled it a bit left. I'm wearing a nice fleecy polo today. <laughs> <laughs> which is actually keeping me nice and warm. Right, come on, concentrate. This is for the par. This is for the par. Come on. I saw that going in all the way. All the way I saw that going in. Yes! Right, another par on the board. Come on, this is some gold, isn't it? This is some gold. <laughs> Okay, eighth hole, par four, 321 yards. What you find is on the left-hand side, you've got a little stream that runs up and then there's a little pond in front of the green. So just knock it down there and then we got on for a second shot. We should be in theory. Now, you can look at the score above. I'm not getting too carried away just yet, but the score is up in the top right corner. Come on, we're going straight over this tree, I reckon, or straight over the right-hand side of this tree. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? I, I, saw, that, I saw it bounce. I saw, <laughs> it looks very long downhill. I don't think I'm that long, but we'll see. <laughs> it was slightly pulley, slightly pulley, but actually it worked out really quite nicely. It's, it looks like it went longer than I expected it to go because there's a couple of people ahead of us playing. Uh, and I thought I was okay and I thought I was safe to go but I can't imagine it being that close because that's quite a long way down. We'll see, we'll see, but 
Either way, I think it was a nice drive, slightly pulley. Went over the left side of that tree rather than the right side, but ultimately, we're down there, second shot. Come on, we are makers of good golf today. And I tell you what, there is some exciting news coming for this summer. Actually, it's only a couple of months away now. Uh, in a couple of months' time, in a couple of months' time, I'm gonna keep you, I'm gonna keep you waiting for a little bit longer. Right, it wasn't as good a shot as we thought because it's gone in the green state, uh, red stakes into the water. So I've come back from the line of entry, 120 yards left. Ah, such a shame, such a shame. Never mind. Right, so we've got to come over this tree, 120 yards. Come on, in some thick stuff as well. Right, come on, good strike on it. Just get it there. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot. I can't even believe. Again, it is one of those ones like on the first hole. It might look like it's very close, but it's probably about 10 foot still. <laughs> Let me get to the bridge and then I'll zoom in and show you. There you go. Again, we don't know how close that is. We don't know, but it looks close. Yep, again, <laughs> same situation. It looked good, but it's still a good 20, 20 foot, 30 foot. I don't really know, I can't call it, but it's still a long bloody way to go. We got this for the par after I dropped penalty shot. One, penalty drop two, third shot. Yes, this is par four. This is for a four, come on. Not much movement, pretty straight. Get the, get the distance right. Come on. Now left. Okay. Again, it's run out more than I expected. Did not expect it to run that far. Bogey putt. There we go, bogey putt. Oh, that's not a bad considering we had a drop penalty shot on that hole because we lost it in the red stakes. Never mind, bogey hole, not bad. A lot of good things to come. Right, ninth hole, par four. So far, a very good start. So, nearly finished the front nine. Par four, it's I don't think there's any danger this side because I think it's on the other hole where there's a stream. I don't think there's any water this on the left-hand side. So really, there isn't really much to worry about, I don't think. So I'm gonna aim at that tree right in the middle of the fairway. Um, that's gonna be my target line. Beautiful. It's the left side of that tree. But not a bad strike, I'll take that one. Wasn't the best of strikes, but a nice little cut, just slightly, slightly baby, baby fade. Game is trending in the right direction. Subs are going in the right direction. Engagement is going in the right direction. So everything's going well. Let's just keep it going, keep the momentum. And hopefully by summer, we've got some good numbers. Didn't get blocked out by the tree. The tree is literally just alongside you. So that's not bad. Nice shot in, 126 yards left to go. It looks like it's on top tier. Does look like it's top tier, doesn't it? So I'm reckon now, thinking about it, rather than a wedge, I'm going for a nine iron. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We haven't done one of them for a while. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's regroup. <laughs> 90 yards left, 90 yards left, come on, come on then, 90 yards left, good wedge, oh god, right, concentrate now, oh another thin, are you feeling alright, oh my goodness gracious, another thin, two thins in a row, oh no, oh no. Oh God, could this be the Lewis golfer of old coming back to haunt us? <laughs> we've been playing so well. <laughs> and then in one hole, we've done a two topper, two topper thinner jobs. One of it, no, actually one topper, one thin. One top, one thin, onto the green, 
putting for par. <laughs> We're nowhere near the bin. <laughs> that wasn't what we expected to be happening today. Slow. Oh no. Oh no. Confidence in yourself. Confidence in yourself. Slightly left to right. Trust that line that I've put it on, because that's always another thing as well. I don't trust the lines. Trust the line. Trust it. Come on. I just I just hit it too hard through the through the brake. Right. Oh dear. First. Double of the day. Oh no. Hopefully that is the only double of the day. Hopefully, no more doubles today. Hopefully. All that rhymed. I'm just a lyrical genius. Hopefully, the last and only double of the day. Hopefully. <laughs> We've done so well up to this point to not have any doubles on the card. So let's continue now on the back nine. Let's finish strong on the back nine. Come on, we're, I mean, we've got, a good, we've got a good score so far. What are we now? Seven over par through nine. And some of those holes I'm a bit gutted about, especially that drop shot in the water um, and the leaky ninth, the hole before. So there's lots of potential still, and it's just a shame we've got a double, but we can, we can push on, come on. Confident, back nine, let's go. The sun's coming out now, beautiful. Sun's coming out, we're gonna remain confident. So par four, pretty straight, 354 yards. Just hit a good drive. Don't think we've hit a good drive today yet, I don't think. Let's hit one now though. It's pretty straight. There's a bit of water down the right hand side. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna hit a nice drive, get it down there. Birdie. Oh, stay, please stay. Please, bit leaky. Please. Oh, I saw it down. Oh, we are right near the water. That was leaky, but I think it's okay. Didn't hit that very well, a bit of a glance and strike on that, but it's okay. Here's a question I've never asked before. Front nine, we finished, seven over par. What do you think we're gonna shoot on the back nine? Put your comments down below. Obviously no cheating. If you're gonna cheat, that's down to you, right? But I'll be reading the, all the comments. As you know, I've replied to every single one, but I'll be reading the comments and just see how close we get. What do you reckon, prediction now, what are we gonna finish on? Seven over through the front nine. What's the back nine gonna be like? Let me know. Talk about being lucky again. Any further right and it could have caught and started kicking to the right. Anyway, not the best of strikes as I said. Was very leaky, glancy shot. Means we got, what did we hit? Yeah, it's just only a, it was a 200 yard drive but it was just a bit of a terrible one, wasn't it? 151 yards left to go. Flag is at the back. Sitting up a bit in this rough. Seven iron, just come on, just get a good strike on it today. Yeah, that was draggy, it's in the bunker. Oh, just bounced the bounce left of it. Pin eye, wasn't a very good strike, wasn't a very good lie either, but hey, swings and roundabouts. Oh, fat it, oh, you stupid boy. Oh no. That was so bad. Honestly, this hole is so bad. Oh, for the bogey. I wanted to keep doubles off the scorecard, so this has got to be a worldie of a putt. We have been known to do worldies before. We need one now. God, do we need one now. We need one now. Come on, we've got one now. Right, that's it. Come on, steady the shit with a bogey. After that scramble around, we'll take that bogey. Come on. This is that hole. If you saw the previous episode here at Benton Hall, this was the dramatic hole, the whole vlog. If you haven't, go check it out. Oh my God. So it's a dog leg right, it's playing 387 yards. What you've got is water around the right hand side. You've got a pond over on the left hand side it was just absolutely disaster of a hole when we were here so let's see if we can do a little bit better this time come on i'm going to try and take off this tree up here that's what i'm going to do 
The devil is coming out again. Let's go for it. Didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I heard tree over there. I might have to refer back to uh, the camera and have a look, but I didn't see it at all. I heard sound over there. Looking back on the footage, it did go that line. My only other fear, because I didn't see it, my only other fear was it was a duck hook, but it didn't look like, I mean, it didn't, well, it didn't look like a duck hook on the camera from what I can see. It looked like it was pretty straight over where my line was. So let's hopefully go find it. I think I heard tree though. So hopefully it's amongst the trees, but I think it was on a pretty good line. <laughs> I swear, I swear down, I swear down. This is my ball, I haven't dropped it. I swear down, I was walking around here going, oh my God, please. I swear I did hear it. So hopefully you'll see the line, it did come over those trees and I did hear it hit a tree around here. Not, I obviously know it's here, but I mean, I knew it hit in this tree area. I swear to God, my ball is there. I can, oh my God, I cannot believe how lucky I've got. Still, it's a, it's a par four, right? Cut the dog leg severely and still got 180 yards left to go. It's a joke, isn't it? I'm gonna hit a six iron and just hope for the best. We've got water to the left-hand side over there. I can't believe I found that. Didn't see it in the sun. Sound like a good strike. No idea. Oh no, we're searching again. It hit that tree, but I don't know where it went after that. I might have to look on the camera again. <laughs> right, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to take a drop because I've walked up there and I can't find it. So I've come back to where I've taken my shot from. 185 yards in again. Oh, come on. Didn't see it again because of the light. I just can't see anything. It's, the sun is right in your face. I cannot see the ball. The sooner we get off this hole, the better, because I can't see anything. I'm really struggling here. This is my second ball, luckily. Uh, right, it's a 90 yard shot. 90 yard your shot, just come on. Didn't see that either. Oh yeah, I did, bouncing. Oh, this hole is again, it's coming back. It's the nightmare hole we want to just get out of, get off it. I mean, it is stroke index one. But this bloody sun, you can't see nothing. So I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Don't even see it, can't even see it. It's on the green. Now turn in. Not bad for Pete, for Pete, for pace and speed. <laughs> Pete, not bad for Pete. As if we walked away there with an eight. Oh my God. One, two, miss ball, three, so then we hit four, then we hit five, then we hit six, seven, eight, yeah, eight. Eight. We hit a bloody eight. <laughs> oh my God, right, anyway. So this is par four, 324 yards. It's pretty straight. Just head straight up over there. Hope for the best, really. <laughs> God. Ah, oh, that was poor, but it's okay. It's pretty much, yeah, okay. Took it down. Really, like a drop kicked it. <laughs> it was a, it was a, a drop kick drive, drop kick drive, but it's okay. That's all right. Right, 154 yards left to go. Come on, this is not, un, not doable. Not, not doable. Come on, above my feet slightly. Thinned it. Come on, Lewis, sort your life out. That was so bad. So annoyed. You, like, you don't even understand how cross I am right now. <laughs> Go. Catch a bit. Pin eye. Pin eye leaked it left. <laughs> oh, that's a shame because that looked okay. As I say, it is pin eye, it's just left of the green. Like that. We'll go in. We'll go in. Oh, God. Don't even need my putter for that. Right, dab it in. There we go. Well, another scramble bogey. 
we'll take a scramble bogey. Yes, we will. Let's go. 13th hole, par three, 100, what is it, 170 odd yards? We've got greenside bunkers. Greenside bunkers, got a seven iron in hand. I think we go for a six iron. We go for a six iron and hope that we can hit the six iron well, right? Which hasn't been happening recently, but there's a first for every time. So, come on, beyond those bunkers, let's go. towed it and it's going to go straight into the bunker, I think. I didn't sit down, which means it probably did go in the bunker. Towed the head out of it, rubbish shot. <laughs> now, I'm not too bad at bunkers, as, as I said many a time. This is a bit of a tricky one though, I have to say. Come on, get it up there, let's go. Now travel, now travel. Oh, it stopped dead, it stopped dead, but we're out. Good strike again, but, ah, oh, that's unlucky. It's tracking, but it's not, it's not long enough. <sighs> bogey putt, bogey putt. This also, on the previous vlog here at Benton Hall, was also another horrific hole for me. <laughs> so lots of you to look back on. You can look back at enjoyment in that one. But today I'm feeling it. It's a dog leg left playing 300 yards, pretty much goes straight up there, up through the middle of the fairway, and then it's dog legs up the hill to the left hand side. So let's just get a nice drive down there. No complaints. Let's get it. Yes, what a strike. That's exactly what we wanted, straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. That'll be in a beautiful position. <sighs> See, still in there. I couldn't have placed that any better if I tried. 94 yards left. 94 yards left, come on. You might be able to make it out. It's uphill, bunker in the way, but it's uphill green. Again, play, playing uphill. So we're gonna hit a pitching wedge. I knew I was gonna do that as well. Can you believe that? After what a drive that was, we've done this to ourselves. 50 yards up the hill, come on. Good wedge, please. Sit, sit, sit. I think that's long. I played for it being uphill and I think that's long. Uh, rail, rolled out further than I was thought after I hit it, but still wasn't very good, was it? Got this for a bogey. Can it sink? I don't know. At this stage, I don't know. We were playing so well on such a high. Just seems to be going a little bit wayward. Now turn left. Looks like it's another double, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, still moving. Oh, how disappointing after that drive. After that drive, we walk away with a double. Disaster, double disaster. That 15th hole is a par five, dog leg right. It's a tricky one because once you've hit the shot, you can't see where it's going. So aiming straight over the trees and hoping for the best, really. I mean, that was... Good strike, it's just what, just don't know where it's gone. This is the problem with this, this tee box. You can't see where it's gone. Good strike. I know the area that it went. Okay, so we've got 259 yards left to go, but there's nowhere really to go. So I'm just gonna have to bail out to the left. I can't go for the pin because it's wrapped round the corner. So just ping a seven iron out that way. That's the hope. Let's see if we can make it a dream. Came out of it a bit, but yeah, nice strike. It's in line with that big tree on the outside. Did come out of it. I, I've been doing that today, I don't know why. Some shots pretty good, but some of them I'm just coming out of the shot. I'm just coming out of it, Never mind. 
Tell you what, for someone that was whinging about coming out of it too early, I'm well up at that. 170 yards on the flight. Well, there's probably a bit of rollout, isn't there? But 170 yards from where we just hit our last shot. And I'm whinging about it coming out of the shot. <laughs> oh, God. I've got the mentality of a scratch golfer, but the ability of a high handicapper. <laughs> 91 left. Right, again, just a good gap, just a good wedge. Just a good wedge. That's all it is. Good wedge over the bunker. Sit proudly next to the pin for a birdie. Come on. It's doable. It really is. Dragged it a bit. Come down off the hill. Oh, it tried. Dragged it a bit, but okay. Not bad, right? Probably just get up and down for a par. It's a shame because I was hoping to get a birdie, but I did drag it left a bit. Never mind, never mind. What are we thinking? Putt? I think that's a safe option, isn't it? Come on. We'll go in. Oh, slow down. Okay, we got that for a par. Got, it had a look at birdie. <laughs> we got that for a par. Oh, you swine. You swine. Oh, I should not be bogeying that. I should not be bogeying that. That is so disappointing. That is so disappointing. Oh, bogeyed it. Right, move on to the next hole. That's a shame. Right, next hole, it's a par three downhill. It's quite a tricky one because you've got water right in front of the green. I'm trying to get there with a six. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually get a six working today. Come on. Got to stay confident throughout. Oh, it's absolutely. I saw it bounce. That was absolutely dog awful. Dog awful, oh my God. Sit, 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 sit. Oh. Go, 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 go. Right, we'll go over bogey, not best, but it is a bogey nonetheless. A couple of holes left, just a couple of holes left. Right, so as it stands, 18 over par. We could do this, we could still break 90, we need to play smart though. I say that and I've got a drive in my hand. <laughs> 17th hole, par four, 358 yards. Straight, pretty much straight. Let's get a good drive, come on. Hopefully it's okay. It's in the trees, but hopefully it's all right. So we, as it stands, we're 18 over par. This is a par 71, which means we are sitting on 89. 89. Oh, we are cutting it fine, aren't we? We've got this, it's a par four, which is absolutely mental because we've got miles to go yet. And I probably haven't got a shot. So we're gonna be sitting on the 18th hole, which I don't know what yet. What is that? What is the 18th? The 18th is a par five. If we could get, I know it's gonna be hard now, but if we can get a bogey from here, we go into the last hole sitting on 90. If we can then miraculously get a birdie of the day to finish on 89, that'll be an achievement I reckon today. We started off well, then we had a few blow ups. Come on, let's just stay confident, let's go, come on. <laughs> so, unless we can hit some amazing draw, which I'm not known to be doing. Ah, oh, right, come on. If, the thing is, right, this is what we've got to think about. If we go down this line, we've got water to the right. If I go there, I'm literally just chipping it out. Hey, listen, it doesn't matter, does it? This is what it's all about. Let's make it exciting. Let's try and hit a good one. Come on, a seven iron, trusty seven iron. 
we rely on it. Trusty seven iron. If we can, let's draw it around there. Come on, this is what YouTube golf is all about. Dreams. <laughs> Come on. I've hit it. I've hit it. Is it going to be long enough? Didn't sit down. It hit the fern, furry tree, the fir tree, but I didn't sit down. <laughs> the dream is still very much alive. I did say it hit that fir tree, and we've just come the other side of the water. So that's our fairway, and this is our ball. So, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a bare lie. I don't know how I'm gonna play this. Oh God, right, okay, come on. This is, what is this, third shot, third shot. Come on. Oh, it went slight, I went straight underneath it. Oh, oh, the dream, no, listen, the dream's still alive. I said, if we bogey this, still do that. Same kind of shot again. Right, this is par shot, we need to get it close. Sit now, sit. All go in. Oh! oh! It's got in. It's got. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's got. <laughs> it's got in. It's got. In. Oh, it's got in. <laughs> YouTube gold. Oh, what's that? We didn't even do a putt. We didn't even putt. Wow. Wow. We parred it. <laughs> <laughs> we parred it with a chip in. <laughs> right, I've done chip in before, never as long as that, and never on camera. So I've now got one long and on camera. And it was for par. What a par. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so we are sitting. What are we sitting? Oh my god, I can't I need to I need to recount. I really need to recount because we're going to the last hole. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do enjoy this content and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Let's finish out this last hole, come on. So I've done the calculations, done the maths. We're sitting at 18 over par, which is par 71, means we're sitting on 89 as it stands. If we could just get this one down there on a par five, 444 yards, we could be doing it, come on. It's okay, stay there, go over that tree. Oh, it's sitting next to it. It's sitting, it's sitting next to it. it. Wasn't a very good drive, was it? It was terrible, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is it. Walking up to the ball now. Oh my goodness gracious. 18 over par as it stands. Can we break 90? Oh, or better yet, if we could get a birdie on the last hole, that'd be amazing. Oh, seriously. <laughs> That is right, I think I've done the calculations right. It's a par 71, we're currently sitting at 18 over par, which means that's an 89. Oh, we're sitting at 89. Again, if you enjoyed this, please, and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Subscribe and then please just write a comment down below. I love chatting to you guys. I love the amount of engagement we're getting now, the amount of people that are chatting and writing comments. So do it, because I love talking to all of you. Let's go, let's, hold the, let's close this hole out, come on. So this is where it could all go wrong. <laughs> it could all go wrong from here because we've still got 255 yards, which is fine, but there is water down the right again. I think it's just, again, a safe seven, isn't it? Safe seven. Come on, get through this now, get through the ball. Like that. Oh, it just caught the top of the tree, but it was, it's down there, not as far as it could have gone because it took a bit of, took off the, uh, off the tree, but it is in a good position. Hopefully, from that position, we can get on the green. Putt for a birdie would be amazing. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on screen right now, but I'm talking anyway. <sighs> 130 yards left to go. 130. 130 yards is between me and a birdie, and then also breaking 90. That's it, 130 yards. Come on. Right, 130, nine iron all day long. 
all day long. Come on, straight at it. Let's go. Straight at it. Slightly left of it, but just straight. Oh, that looks pin eye. I think it's just off the edge of the green. Great strike. Come on, come on. I am there, pin eye. It's still a putt from what I can see from here. Hang on, let me, let me show you. There you go, look, there you go. So it's probably pin eye, but it's puttable, still puttable. Oh, definitely puttable. Definitely puttable. Great nine iron into the green. Come on, come on. I tell you what, this wouldn't have been possible had I not got that worldy chip in. It wouldn't have been possible. We are now two putts away from breaking 90. Sitting on 89, two putt par will do it. Oh my goodness, come on. We'll go straight in. Oh, I think we might have done it. I think we might have done it. That's it, we've done it. We have done what we set out to do today. <laughs> par, par, finish on a par. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know what you need to do. Big thanks to all the team here at Benton Hall that has invited us down last minute as well to get us on here. So thank you so much to Lee the coach here, the pro here, Lee, for sorting that out. We did it. Benton Hall. Completed it, mate. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.